Caleb Maupin explains how the scale of alleged Russian interference is being blown out of proportion in the U.S. If you've been watching American TV lately, you probably think you know everything there is to know about Russian propaganda and where to find it. Supposedly, the vast plot to deprive Hillary Clinton of her presidential crown includes election meddling, WikiLeaks, and of course, this network. Russia's hacked into a lot of things. Russia was behind the election meddling. Russian hackers. The Kremlin clan. Well, according to certain voices in U.S. media and in Congress, this is just the tip of the iceberg, because when it comes to Russian trolls, you should always expect the unexpected. Reddit. Tony. A region in Middle Earth where trolls live. The dark side of social media. Breeding ground for trolls. Now, the news aggregator, Reddit, the fourth most popular website in the United States, may be a vehicle for Russian subversion, according to U.S. Senator Mark Webb. And there's the conservative news website, The Drudge Report. It's also a tool of Russian propaganda. Well, that claim comes from Media Matters, a center that's dedicated to, quote, correcting conservative disinformation. Drudge has for years used his sites as a web traffic pipeline for Russian propaganda sites. And even sports can't escape Russia's spell. The media is covering Trump's spat with the NFL players around the clock, but somehow it's Russia that's spurning this debate over patriotism at football games. Start hashtagging out take a knee and also hashtagging out boycott NFL. They were taking both sides of the argument this past weekend and pushing them out from their troll farms as much as they could to try to just raise the noise level in America. Yes, those Russian trolls are pretty hard to find. Let's see if average New Yorkers are just as good at spotting them as our lawmakers and the media. Which scandal was said to be the result of Russian trolls by a U.S. senator? Was it A, NFL players not standing up for the pledge or for the flag? Was it B, Confederate monuments? Or C, the California independence movement? California independence movement. Actually, it was the first one. It was A. <laughs> a. You're right. C, because I don't know. I really don't know. Do you believe that? Kidding. No, I don't. Who is a Russian agent? Is it Alexander Ovchin, Matt Drudge, or Tom Cruise? <laughs> Tom Cruise, no doubt. <laughs> Tom Cruise strikes you as a Ruski? He has that look. Not definitely Tom Cruise, but maybe. I don't, I don't even know, dude, to be honest with you. Matt Drudge, a Drudge Report. Do you think he's a Russian agent? Maybe. A is, is known to be... Okay. Very, very close to Russia. But uh, since that's well known, I'll say B. And you're right. Which is used as a tool for Russian propaganda, according to this same U.S. senator? Is it A, Fox News, B, Reddit, or C, Snapchat? <laughs> uh, Reddit. Yep, you're right about that. According to a senator, it would probably be Snapchat. Well, actually, it's Reddit. Yeah, it's so one of those. Middle? I would say B. And that's what, yeah, the same guy said that Reddit... Right. So, so let me ask you. Now, do you buy this idea that Russia's everywhere, Russian trolls are influenced? No, 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 I don't think so. Do you buy that? I think it's all over the Internet, so it has to be true. Unfortunately, the, um, the country prefers the quick uh, explanations without any facts or substantiation behind it. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.